Oh, it comes with a uh, sourdough bread. We'll cut some. Yeah, you know my wife is gonna have her fried pickles. I get. Not that, not that she would lie to me. I'm just gonna check for myself. A little bit of kick film. Little spots. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> Those are good. I'm gonna turn the camera off and eat. It is loaded grilled chicken, beans, and a baked potato. Peanut coleslaw. It looks different beans, jalapeno sausage right here, and St. Louis dry rub ribs. And of course I went with a hot sauce. Let's try the beans. Mm. Those beans are good. I don't know about this. <laughs> One more try. No, I'm not doing it. Oh, those are nasty. Is it a, well, it looks kind of creamy, so it's like mayonnaise. Mmm. Mm. brought to your table to clean yourself up with it's a nice touch well you know the drill we'll wrap it up with a review out in the car all right little disclaimer before we talk about this I've eaten here before a couple years ago we were headed up to Montana I was actually preaching up there on that trip and uh, I saw this place advertised I looked it up it was really good and so I remember last time I got the brisket and pork uh, combo and that's what I intended to order this time and uh, when she came out to take my order I ordered it she's like oh we're out of brisket all we have is chopped well chopped brisket's what you put on a sandwich that's not what you want to just eat so I noticed they had a bunch of different options for ribs St. Louis Kansas City style St. Louis is dry Kansas City is wet so I thought well let's do ribs and uh, a jalapeno sausage I had their sausage last time it was really good so it wasn't what I what I wanted but I thought hey it was good last time and this place also serves other food as you saw my wife got the loaded grilled chicken breast and it was and it was excellent she had a baked potato as well it's the kind where they have the salt kind of stuck to the outside of the skins man it was I mean, her, her meal wasn't barbecue other than the beans, and it was great. So let's talk about what I got. Uh, we ordered the fried pickles. 
spot on. Big, thick slices of pickles, lots of crust, great ranch dressing. Couldn't complain about that. The sourdough bread they bring you out at the beginning, it's, it's bread. They have that honey butter, which I don't really care for, but if you want something kind of sweet, um, hey, hey, it's free. I like the big quart mason jars. You know, you don't run out of anything to drink. Um, let's talk about the barbecue. All right, the ribs were a little overdone. And the only problem with overdone ribs is they fall apart. And so they weren't bad. The sauce was really good. It, I got the hot and it was very hot. Now it's a sweet sauce, tomato base, but very good. Uh, the ribs weren't bad. I'm not like, you know, overly criticizing. I'm not the guy that thinks you ought to see bite mark when you bite out of a rib. They were just a little soft. I mean, they were falling apart. You, you had a hard time get, keeping all the meat together to dunk it in the sauce. The beans, that's the way I like beans. They were sweet, maybe a little too sweet, but still yet. If I was going to eat here again, I'd order the beans again. I like them. Uh, that jalapeno sausage, smoked sausage, that is a Texas style jalapeno smoked sausage and it is very good. Very juicy, got a good skin on it. You can taste black pepper and you can taste jalapeno. I would order that. I would eat that on a hot dog bun. I, I would, perfect. Let's talk about the bad thing. <laughs> Two bad things. Number one, the coleslaw. We asked the waitress, she, she, she made the, the comment, well, I see you didn't like the coleslaw. And I was like, no. And she goes, well, it's hit or miss. I said, I'm sure some people really love it. It just ain't my thing. And she goes, oh yeah, people, you know, people come here to get it. So it's got sesame oil in it and that gives it just a flavor. It's not sweet. It doesn't, I don't think it has any mayonnaise in it. It does, it, it's just not what you, when you think of coleslaw, you don't think of that. You either think of mayonnaise based or vinegar based where you kind of have a tangy slaw that's, that's crispy or you have a real creamy mayonnaise slaw. That was just, I don't know. And it had peanuts in it. And I really think they ruined a lot of good peanuts putting them on top of that slaw. Uh, you say, well, what else was bad about it? The service was great. The people are friendly. They come by the table. They check on you. And, and keep in mind, all this is happening during the COVID pandemic. And so they probably wouldn't normally run out of brisket, except for the meat shortage that we're under. So that's not their fault. And when you're under this kind of a, of, of a pandemic, you know, things happen, things change. Rules change. Um, normally you would get your sauce in a squirt bottle now you get it in a little cup you know there's all that kind of thing the only downside i would say is the slaw and the music i hate pop country and you probably are not going to hear anything we say at the table because florida georgia line dirks bentley rascal flats i can't think of any of the, luke bryan those that's what played the whole time i was in there I'd rather just listen to somebody drag their nails across a chalkboard as listen to pop country. And uh, anyways, I, I can't play it on here. They'll they'll probably flag the video for playing somebody's copyrighted music. And on top of that, it would be music I wouldn't even want you to hear anyways. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't want my enemies to have to listen to that crap. All in all, Skeeter Barnes. Yes, I would eat here. Yes, it's good barbecue. Um, it's not like top end, but it's good. I, I didn't have their brisket today, but I've had it in the past. Their brisket is a Texas style brisket and it is very good. This is a well-made barbecue, not, not like Reed's and Boonville, not like, um, Big Bob Gibson's in Decatur, Alabama, but a good serviceable barbecue if you're coming down i-80 through nebraska and you're wondering where you're going to eat lunch this would be a good place to stop good friendly place and if you don't want barbecue get a steak get a burger get some other form of fire grilled meat anyways that's all i got to say thank you all for coming along i hope you enjoyed the video